hold on a second. Now I really need to go to the bathroom, but let me give uh, give you one second. Lessy Lessy Jaw Lessie. has joined. Oh my Lessy Jaw. What? Oh, Who are these people? I gotta pee. Oh. Now I'm gonna now I gotta pee in my pants. They, they, I'm just gonna pee all over this. What is going on? How's your... I'm getting woken I th- up. Th- I, th- I think it, it, I think it was this uh Leslie Jaw that was hacking our last uh Last person's internet's trying to take, <laughs> trying to silence the dissent. <laughs> oh, is that who was messing up uh, her, her Katrine's in, internet? Are you outside with one of those internet disruptors? Oh well, just ask her about how much I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm fairly certain yeah. you have like godlike powers. So. <laughs> well, actually, I appreciate the recognition. Uh, not, not everyone can notice, but she does. Yeah, you know, I, I guess it's, 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 it's weird. This. It's weird to me she has a notebook on you. It's, it's, don't you Carl, have a don't, notebook don't on your jealous. fan clubs? You know you I, had... we are, that We're all jealous because we don't have a fan club. Hold on a minute, Richard. I just want to point out there were plenty of people that had notebooks on Carl when he was chair. Like, it's part of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that for the viewing audience that they knew I was not only asleep, but asleep while wearing my MAGA hat. <laughs> you sleep with it on? Yeah, the one that he signed. Yeah, that, that's, oh, that's, the, that's the white power MAGA hat, right? No, is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, well, obviously it's white. <laughs> is that from the campaign, or is that one of those Chinese knockoffs? Is that one of those illegal? No, nah, bro. Come on, don't don't Chinese knock off me, man. Perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Yeah, this that's... was uh, this was from his hizzy down in Florida. So. Right on. Nice three hour meeting. I heard a rumor. Yeah, three hour dinner, bro. Wow. You know, something you know I, I look. How many courses are, is that? are there? Huh? How, how many courses is the three hour meal? It was only three, but I have to tell you, the president had two scoops of ice cream. The rumors are true. I have a picture. What, Rocky Road? Fact, or, or what's he? What's there, he are, there are two scoops of ice cream in his bowl, one scoop in Jim DeGraff and Reed's bowl. I have the photo. <laughs> well, I think Jim was probably on a diet at the time, wasn't he? No, no, no! Don't no, spread no. any other rumors. New York Times did not tell fake news on that one. If you were, if you were known for that, wouldn't you continue to do that just for the memes? Oh, dude, he's like, excuse me, I'm in my house. I'm gonna have two scoops. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, take a picture. Go ahead, go ahead. I know it's funny. Yeah, it was, yeah. was it yeah. Rocky Road or like chocolate mint? What, what, were, we, what were we rocking? You what are we what? rocking when we're it looked like scoops. it looked like vanilla? All right, uh, but just I was straight vanilla. Way. Yeah, I was having something else. Mm. I was like, every, oh, meal, every every part of the meal that I didn't have that he had, I'm like, I bet his is better. <laughs> I bet he thinks that vanilla well, bean is a healthy when, option when because it has bean in it. Right. Vanilla. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> like, don't worry. I'll be sleeping in my own bedroom tonight. I had my veggies. I had vanilla bean ice cream. <laughs> Listen, uh, I, I know that there was some weird stuff said. Uh, I don't know exactly what. Is there anything I can clear up here so that we can put this to rest? No, oh, wait. no. Never mind. So, it won't put it to rest. That's- okay, so are you going to finally acknowledge your insider training where you made millions of dollars where you don't have to work? <laughs> hey, right now, on the advice of attorneys, uh, go ahead and uh, leave hey. that. People are saying hi to Jesse in the chat, just so you know. And, uh, oh, okay. Will you either confirm or deny that you are a type of species that rhymes with izzard? Uh, I, I can only acknowledge that my people come from Mars and shapeshift. So so you've already destroyed one planet, and you're here to destroy another, is what, yeah, is what right, I'm hearing. Right. Okay. Well, a, I mean, yeah, the, the rumors are true. We have to have the blood of the children in, in order to get the adrenochrome in order to stay eternally youthful. Well, I, I heard a rumor that we're able to make that artificially now. Like no, artificial it's the same. Them. You got to scare them. You got to do witchcraft. Uh-huh. Yeah, absolutely. The synthetic stuff is garbage, right? Oh, is it? hundred yeah. percent. hundred percent. Well, I heard you could get stem cells out of somatic cells now if you, like, refine them correctly so you don't have to sacrifice the kids anymore. Richard, if you're looking for an invitation to the party, I'm inviting you. We'll go and figure this out. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just trying to – I'm just inquisitive. I'm I like, oh, I'd just like to know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I got other books I need to write. So, all right. Well, oh, I mean... oh, perfect segue. Oh, <laughs> Source: oh. A Soul's Journey by Richard Bunce, available on Amazon.com. Please. I have my own signed copy. Maybe gonna... we should promote that at the next CCRP meeting and start new said... rumors about getting a kickback. Seven. <laughs> mine you is are not based. based on mine is not hey, commission based. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to get that signed. Uh, all right. So, so did I work enough? 
Let me ask a question. Uh, during I think the you primary, work too much, is my, my opinion. You've been at so everything during, I've ever been to, primary, and I think I've been to too much stuff. You're at everything I go to, and you're and I'm at too much stuff. So I know you do more stuff than me, so you already do too much. I've, I've, I I've asked you, I, I've I asked you to the quit. Same, I, I was surprised she didn't bring up what others were bringing up, that sometime in October or something they were saying that I'm I'm missing. They're saying this to each other, that I'm missing in action. Are, are, are you a body devil, too? Are you a body devil? That's why he's wearing the hat, because maybe he has a different shaped head now. So we yeah. will we'll claim he's a body devil. Like, hey, there's yeah. 300 like people, 300, mil yeah, 300 million, yep, yeah. 300 million people in America. If they could find a Jesse Law body double, I thought about it. I really thought about it. It's one of the, it's in oh, the notes. I, I've seen a couple of Jesse Laws in Texas. When I was traveling, so. It's a common, it's a common uh, a theme in Texas to be a Jesse Law for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or a lessy, uh, or a lessy jaw, yeah. lessy jaw. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I wanted to comment that it's really not anyone's business if I have to work a full time job. Like right. I think that's really weird. Like yeah. what am I get? Like yeah. do I go and size up other people's behavior and say it's not enough? You know that's a dark place to go. Yeah. What about other people's finances? Is any part of my business? I right. just, I, you know what? And the only reason why I'm answering that, it's not just that I don't want to dignify it. But maybe I have to set the example of what is allowed with each other. We're not allowed to size up each other's work and how much we make because life's hard enough to do that. I mean, I have children. I have needs. I've got to handle those needs. Yeah. But also, I never work. I'm independently wealthy, and I was just on a yacht. The oh, whole oh I, I know you have needs, Jesse. <laughs> now, those are my own words. Use those words. Even though I said five hours a day while working full time, that wasn't enough. Use the words that I was on a yacht instead, just soaking up the sun. How many feet? Are, but here's the important question. How many feet is the yacht? Oh, is it, so is it, where, is exactly. it one of those four people, 28 feet? Or you're talking like yeah, the, the no. 48, 52 feet? We, like, we call we it a yacht to make ourselves feel better. And it's also in Lake Mead, but still. <laughs> so it's a 16-foot <laughs> pontoon boat. Okay. Precisely. It's kind of touching the, the name of the boat is yacht. It's actually it's actually a pontoon. Oh, that's then that's qualifies as long as <laughs> yes. you're using correct name nomenclature and uh, no, no. you just happen to name it yacht. The, the name is a yacht. A yacht. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was only aware of that. I don't know what what the other problems are, and I I really I I don't know. I think but, that she just doesn't like anybody. But well, maybe she's new. She's, she's, that, like, you're, the job of a new person is to hate everything. No, that's their job, no. Jesse. What the, they're, they're having like the whole fresh. Let's call them the freshman class. Is that what we're calling them? Uh -huh. Yeah, the eager beavers. Uh -huh. Yeah, the freshman class. Like the freshman yeah. class is going through what we went through. Yep. They just don't have numbers. When, so uh, no, when, when we or a guru when we actually got no when we actually got shit on, we actually got like, you know bad shit happened it's like excluded mm -hmm. like nobody's really been excluded under your reign no because right? they just... were excluding us was... therefore i ran so that people like katrine could join like that was the whole yeah. point so, right? hey listen wait 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 wait, 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 real quick can i apologize what? for my tantrum jesse i i i, I was i was oh, being Chris. i was being a bitch that day but yeah Chris. i've never advocated for anybody but you as chair uh, well, thank you, but I just Chris, wanted Chris, to take Chris, the advice Chris. of what Carl said and say. You're breaking rule number one: never oh. apologize. Oh shit! Oh, here we I'm, go. I'm a heel. Not, I forgot. Let's do Art of War for Richard. No, let me, uh, uh, let me, let me, let me take Carl's advice in my response to you, Chris, and say, you got me, and it was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I, I put out a meme that was a little bit close to that the was, edge and yeah, and, was, and i was happy to, to take edge. it down i have been you asked close to the edge everybody <laughs> i have i have been asked to take other things down and it's not a problem so you know oh. as soon as somebody goes hey man that was a little bit fucked up i go yeah you're right if i <laughs> so oh listen you got me i was hot after that fucking <laughs> i was like oh my god i got a call from the state chairman and i was like hey um you did not I did. You did not. I did. Oh, he, 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 he wanted to go have a pizza, you and me and him. Oh. Uh, you know what really bugs him? Oh, he just he called me and said he wanted to go shoot in the desert. I don't know what that Oh, means. fuck. <laughs> yeah, my, Michael, uh, Michael collects uh, some, some interesting friends, and so he hates when people are at odds if you have old friendship. Yeah, it's like right. a big deal to him, so he would call and say that. He told me about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, like, he's like, I don't like this. I was like, okay. Here, let me. Wait, oh, he, he said something about like ever. going out and having a, a good time, and you should, you should, I should bring a shovel for something. I don't know. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I got uh, some treasure buried out here, and once we dig it up, we're gonna yeah, be set for not life. The same without uh, Chris Dyer. What do you, you mean? Know, I haven't missed a meeting. I haven't missed a meeting. What are you talking about? No, I know. What I'm saying is if uh, he, Richard's talking about shovels, like it's not the same without it. Yet. What? That's what he said. He said desert, <laughs> shovels, and something else. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, don't and, make it awkward. That's what Richard said. I'm just trying to understand. It's fine. I'm worth like a lot of money as long as it's not by my own hand. You know what I've, I mean? I jumped on to see if there are comments, but I can't really. You you want to you know, like you want to get somebody that plays poker like That's uh, you know five. never read the comments get get Very him a common. get him get him an insurance policy that is like absolutely prevents suicide you're like well oh, shit <laughs> all right I guess all right no then fuck <laughs> so yeah I mean make it look make it look like a like not a suicide and cool carl do we need to turn this into an intervention episode at this point with this talk <laughs> what do you mean no 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 no. i'm just saying no like I, I mean like i'm financially incentivized not to do anything to myself please never uh, know anybody ever think that i did anything to myself so you're worth more dead than alive is what you're telling us correct mundo but not mm. if i do it by my own hand wow nice wow. demolition man reference chris <laughs> what what do you mean i'm not correct sure no you don't remember Wesley Snipes saying that? It's all I think about. <clears throat> he says a lot of cool. He's got a lot of. Uh, what, the, I thought I got that from the, the Fonz. All right, but I was calling in because I think I had to like settle bets. Are there any bets to settle? Are there any outstanding questions I haven't done so that we can move on to tomorrow's terrible accusations? No, I don't, I don't know where we're going to. All right, here's a question. Do we need a 10 day notice before our next uh, meeting once we find a venue? Yeah, spe- uh, because it'll you know, be a special meeting. Well, no, uh, uh, Richard. So um, this is a uh, uh, something contained in a Roberts for the justification in terms of just a continuation. In other words, in, under Roberts, you'd look under emergency circumstances. No, I'm not a Roberts guy, so I have people that are. And uh, I was looking at our bylaws, and it's actually only a five day notice for a meeting. Now, the only thing that required the notice was the election, since this is a continuation of the meeting that we had, where the notice already had. We already had the people announced for it. Uh, th- then we already did that. But there's no competition for those seats. Like, we only had one person nominate for each of them. So it's really a non-thing. However, I'm trying to give everyone notice because everyone's going to say either you said or it wasn't fair, or, you know. Well, I mean, I'll put out texts, and I'll probably drive over to Katrine's house and make sure that you know, <laughs> she knows to go, hey, Katrine, I just want, you know, I don't work. But I wanted to take time to come over and say, hey, we had this meeting. Um, you know, I normally would do that uh, otherwise, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> That's tiring. I mean, we put out the call to meeting as soon as we get it on Saturday nights. It's very convenient that it comes out 10 days before the meeting, and it just happens to be a Saturday night. And somebody always goes, hey, the call to meeting's out. We go, oh, shit. It's at yeah. Stoney's or I not. wanted to... I wanted it done today. In fact, I had people working on it yesterday and all that. We had a snafu on what our temporary solution was, and then better solutions came around, and maybe even permanent. So, I so I'm a little year. behind on this. Like, what what yeah. happened at Stoney's? Was there a flood or something? Uh, well, this is absolutely what happened at Stoney's to cause the cancellation. They didn't have staff. Mm. However, all right. Um, How many staff do they need? Well, no, they just opened up Vix. Sue and Paul just opened up a new jazz lounge downtown. Mm-hmm. So and like they're about they to open up the, Santa Fe too. Well, they take the normal, uh, uh, you know, whatever loyal to loud and crowd that's at Sony's mm-hmm. and staffing this other place. They have paying customers at Vix, and then we have yeah, the CCRP. Obviously. Yeah. Right. So that's an unfortunate thing. And actually, I think what happened was there wasn't an appropriate uh, coordination on our event being there because uh, we had worked out some uh, issues. But the issues were pretty bad. I mean, they were put into the newspaper over a lawsuit in f- September, put into the newspaper over stuff Michelle Fiore said that was leaked by a member with the intent to get newspaper to embarrass us. Well, that Did she say that her. at Stoney's? She said it at Stoney's mm-hmm. and the logo behind her. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so they're already like, well, whatever. But then we get to January and people are mean and, and stuff. And like Chris left, so he didn't see that part. But like there were meanies to the staff. Uh, they were yelling. Um, <laughs> And, you know, then there were news articles afterward with stuff in it. And 
you know, if I was them, I'd be like, whoa, I don't want now, anything to do. With man, this. That's amazing. So, you somebody would think that would have happened like immediately after that meeting and not the day before the next one. Well, Rich, it did. We actually had to resolve the disagreement. That's my point. Michael actually went and resolved it. And then there was no coordination on the staff. And it sucks. But I like I'm so grateful to like the Loudons doing that stuff for free every I mean, time. Yeah, you need like all kinds of people to run a meeting. You need somebody to open the door. Yeah. And I guess if you want to sell drinks, you need somebody there. And then there's yes, security, it. the AV, and then there's the manager. So yeah, yeah like I understand you gotta have, you gotta have the staff. Dude, I, I mean, it's wrong that it happened. And like every conspiracy theory exists. They're like, he's supposed to do something. Okay. <laughs> like I was on the radio with uh, Kevin Wall. They're like, we want you to talk about like the Lincoln Day that's tonight. Yeah, I, I'm sure you do. So then he's like, we want to hear your side of the story. Yeah. I, go, <laughs> I, go, I go, no, you know what? I won't talk about my side of the story. I'll just tell you some data points. In other words, facts. And then you guys can just handle it from there. So... Oh well, everyone's a critic. Are the comments <laughs> staying? You know, are, are the comments asking any questions? I'm gonna look and see. If Somebody I can says so. No more stonies at all. No, uh, no, no. Maybe. Okay. But we don't have any definitive. Right. Anything. But like Jesse just said, it's a staff staffing. Think, it's a staffing issue. Can I? Hold on. It's a staffing issue, and they're about to open a place no, in Santa that, Fe that's too. That's what they said. That's what they said, Chris. Okay. But let me let me just put in a, what happened a week before this meeting. Who showed up and took that place over? What you mean? The Santas. The Santas came just... in. He spread. He 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 threw poop in the punch pool. That's like, right. Po poisoned everybody against you. Jeffy. You all were out of town. You all were out yeah, of town. Yeah, you were up in Carson. Yeah. They had they they yeah. brought in the whole the whole kit and caboodle. They had all all, all the the whole national team like, and they just poisoned everybody. Everybody you was have... working. They loved the Santa's, so and they were like, up. who's this Trump guy? Like, screw, oh, Jesse's a Trump guy? Yeah, we're never having him again. So you I'm starting, so that, I'm starting a new that. conspiracy for you, so that, that's what you're you good. Hey, listen, you know, kudos for just getting, getting another one out there. We need more content for the conspiracy theories about Jesse, this and that. You know, it's not enough that she thinks that I don't work at all or something like this. Whatever. What's, what's wrong with not working? <laughs> hey, Richard, we're not talking about you right now. <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty busy as a late for not Here, working. Here's, here's what's so great about it. Like, I've been spending 70 hours a week for the organization to be something for people like Katrina to participate in. 70. Just on the party. You wow. know what you should do, Jesse? Huh? A point or two a position. I'm not. Oh, you give you immediate, immediately. Immediately a point or position. Advice. Ooh, wait, no, it's great, it's great advice. Put her to work. So, whose like, side what, are you what, on, Richard? I'm on like, yours work? because you're you right. give her a job, and then she doesn't do the job, and then she's proving her own point that like she shouldn't be there. <laughs> oh well, I guess you're technically right about that phenomenon. And just for the, the listening audience, make you put her people to work, and then they stop complaining. That's kind of the, how it is. Ask Natalie. So any hater <laughs> gets a, every hater gets a title. Every hater yeah, gets definitely. a title. Where's my pen? That's a great slogan for the deputy whole party. Cha De deputy chairman. <laughs> deputy oh, two. Like deputy two, the chairman. Deputy two, the chairman. Deputy, de two, deputy assistant, two, assistant, the chairman. assistant to the deputy <laughs> of yeah. chairman. Yeah. There you go. A producer. Yeah. You're a producer. Email, Jesse. 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 Yeah, give you me a producer send her, title. You can, you, can, you can send her an email right now and give her that title. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What Carl. a peacemaker. She might actually like think, oh, well, I got a title out of being mean to him. Like, I'll tell my friends. They should just go be mean to him. Now, uh, last week, no uh, Timothy Chismar <laughs> had a little bit of criticism because apparently you were calling people. And you're trying to get their uh, votes oh. to go in a certain way. And I tried. I wanted to lay, lay out because I like uh, Tim because he knows wrestlers and I want to talk to wrestlers. Oh. But what I wanted to explain to him was that that is what's called a whip. And uh, that is a job, and um, it's it's part of like trying to find out where the cards are gonna fall, and maybe pushing them in a direction if you're if you want to or whatever. Like, well, I, in in politics, when you hold a job in politics, you do then things that are political work. However, to his point, here's where he's mistaken, and I don't appreciate the mistake, but I do appreciate he's actually sincere in his intention. Okay, the mistake is. 
I never told him to vote for anybody. Okay. I asked if he was going, how he was going. He said, I don't have a right. I said, great. Go with these people who happen to be my personal friends. Okay. So I arranged for his travel. He then calls me back and he says, who do you support? And I actually say to him, not because it was him, but because I say this to anyone I didn't know. I said, I don't want my words to influence you. Right. However, I would like to tell you that I support Seagal and this is why. I feel like that is the most above board stuff and way above and beyond anyone who holds a county chairman title would have ever had to do. And I did it to him. And then he actually went on this trip and then there were problems and I'm not gonna get into that part, but he actually, you know, if, if he's got a problem with me uh, telling him that, you know who I did call uh, to, to Tim or anyone listening? I called everybody and Natalie did too and texted him to get, get him to participate. Anyone that I'd previously worked with and have known previously as a friend or a supporter that I have worked with, I asked them to vote for Seagal. And that wasn't that many. And, you know, because people were already voting for Seagal. Anyone that said I'm voting for Pauline, cool, do it. And anyone that sent me a proxy for Pauline, I gave to Pauline. Only one. I got 80 proxies. One of them wanted to go to Pauline. I asked everyone to tell me who they wanted. That's how you do it honestly. And I won that with those proxies honestly. And I'll do it again because I'm good at that. No, yeah, I, th I think Seagal had the, the uh, I mean, I spoke to Pauline and, and I, you know, I don't know what factor Katrine had in the whole thing. But, yeah, Seagal was Pauline. well above more supported than everybody else. Yeah. And, I mean, a third candidate probably makes it even more of a lock for her. Well, what I, I would like to put out there, Carl, you can go right ahead. I was going to say, I was going to put out there the reason why I didn't support Pauline. It's really easy and logical. She called me and said, hey, Jesse, and this was at the end of November. I support you and I, and I want to work with you and I don't want any problem. Cool. Unusual to call and say it. And I'm grateful. Thank you. She then calls her state chairman, tells him, Jesse does a terrible job. We need to un unelect him. It was the same day. <laughs> The same day. Now so I that go seems on... par for the course. I, I don't. I don't understand the conflict at all. Okay, so she does that, and I'm like, cool. I'm gonna just focus on Christmas with my kids. I don't care. <laughs> uh, July is a long time. Ago. <clears throat> she thinks that. God bless. But then the national committee woman thing happens, and we have Seagal and Pauline announce. Pauline's thinking that I've recruited Seagal or something like this, and, and was saying so right away. I didn't. I was the last to know. Right. So Gaul's running on her own accord. And I'm like, huh, a lady who said that she thinks I've done a terrible job and wishes to unelect me and that they're lying to me about it, or a lady who's like really great and personable. I think it's an easy choice. And I don't think anyone should hold that against me for like not wanting to give the lady more power when she was trying to harm me with it. I think that's pretty normal. So that's my story. And she broke rule number one of running for a party position. She didn't don't have the vote. The, don't show it, up unless you have the votes. Yeah. Well, they don't showed up, up that they would win. Don't even sign up unless you already hey, know you have the vote. Don't act so shocked that I thought Seagal was going to win by 80 votes five days before, and then she won by 79. Oh, I, I see that. But we could have. you could have called that before you even counted the votes. I know. Well, I didn't well, vote. I, I didn't vote. Something happened. There was, And I got a little pissed off, and I walked, and I didn't vote. So it could have been 80 or 82 if because I would have well, carried no, proxies. The count was like 75. And then four of my proxies, people came up to me after and like after it was close. When do I turn these in? Oh, like, those are four votes, and they felt terrible, and they're really sweet. Yeah. And that's not the first time, and it will not be the last time. But you know, that's what happened with them, and uh, that's how I knew I was like only one off. So, <laughs> no, you were way more than that because I had two proxies, and I and I biffed it too. <laughs> so it's three votes nice. of, of mine. Yeah, but you got mad in Ely. Uh, no, no, no. I just didn't know who to vote for. And then something happened at the voting line. I was like, oh, man, what, like, what a pain in the ass. Hamilton not on the ballot? Um, I don't know. It, no, uh, he didn't identify as a woman. So uh, it didn't, see, I'm surprised because right. it, it was. But it was interesting. Right there. I can't wait. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> no, get Eddie to I run. Can't believe, I can't believe the Democratic uh, Party has, doesn't have two men as their committee people. Right. Because one, one is just <laughs> identified as a woman. <laughs> Dude, that would be great. Pauline oh, came it's gonna in. Have, it's going to happen. Which state's Absolutely. first, though? Which state will be first? California. 
There's going to be a race. California, yeah. yeah. Just put it out there. There's going to be a race to it. Pauline came to me and spoke to me, and I uh, told her that somebody had uh, put out an altered version of their endorsement list from when she was in charge of the Republican Club, and that she had accused me of doing it and then threatened to sue me. And then I found out she was a bankruptcy attorney or some sort of attorney, and I was like, aren't you a grown-up? Like, that's the thing children do. <clears throat> I'm going to sue you. That's not something attorneys say. They just do. But, uh, yeah, so I told her, I said, listen, I don't hold a grudge about that. It's it's water under the bridge. Like, I can't. I can't vote well, for the I can't vote for the hang him from cranes lady. That was stupid. And I can't well, vote for the cocktail waitress, Chris, even though my here, wife is a cocktail waitress. Anytime says I'm going to sue you say that's great. What's your opening line? <laughs> like, like, Because if you don't have an opening line of what you're suing me for, then good luck. <laughs> I just Google slap S L A P P. And I go, uh, OK, OK. <laughs> I'll wait. I was trying. I'm reviewing some comments. There was a question about the next CCRP meeting. The target date is April the 5th on Wednesday. We had a, a venue in, in like Henderson, uh, near where uh, uh, Carl and Richard used to live, actually. Have it in Laughlin, uh, man. Fuck me, dude. Just have it like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had somebody throwing some serious shade at me last night at the Lingen Day. Oh, I guess we'll get a bus for all of the people from Summerlin. I'm like, I had an emergency canceled meeting. I'm looking for a solution. Right. I have it in Summerlin. Do you have a place? Here's in a Summerlin? question: Is is there like a Hoover Dam or Hoover Dam like visitor center that has a conference room? I'm, I'm, Dude, that's really that's fire right there. That's we a need good to, idea. Somebody needs to look that up because I don't know. I don't. Is there a Hoover Dam conference center or like a, like yeah, a meeting, awesome. meeting center or if, something? If you're a proper dignitary, you can have a like a gala there. Like maybe we need to figure this out. Oh really? <laughs> Like yeah. they've had like they've had like big events there before. That's, well, I think that's like a legion. That's like a legion of doom thing. Yeah, <laughs> having a, having a meeting in a place like that. Yeah. Plus, hey, for you know, for our international small. viewers and for all the feds that are watching, Clark County is gigantic. It's the size of some countries, I think. It's like the yeah. what the second largest county. In I the don't country? know. It's or two it two state? hours north to south 15. if you're driving. Yeah, Fifteen. Well, that's like the, the school district, but not. That's number of kids. You're thinking of fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Pull it, it's not pull it up size. Fifteen. Map. Is it is it size, size too? Yeah. yeah, I mean well, fifth, fifth students. Yeah, yeah if, I'm trying to figure out why people hate two uh, guys it, or whoever dual helix is. I just want to know. Like, just tell me. I was asking that you guys can't tell me why I'm hated. You're like, I don't know. She was weird. I, I, well, no, uh, I. She's new. She, that's her job. Like, she's no, yeah. just, just you're the establishment, Jesse. Right, you're the establishment. I come. <clears throat> I, I've never been to one of these things before. I come in. The first thing I see is you singing and dancing you're, and singing and doing mm -hmm. your little, shaking your hat in yeah. the air. Like, listen, get mad, wait, 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 wait. He's wait. the establishment. <laughs> I know. Singing and dancing. I know I don't like. Didn't you I go know to I, for that? <laughs> I know I didn't like Bernie Zadrowski, but I did like Arden Osborne. Oh That's boy, it. he had you, know? you, huh? So I come in. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah. Already, I come in and I raise hell, and beginning. I join the the NLA. He, he, the Battle even Liberty before Alliance. he got paid, what he got? Paid, what did he get paid? Five hundred dollars to follow you? A or, couple of beers, a six pack, something like that. To, <laughs> or, wow. You're that cheap, no, huh? It was it was it was a roll of hundreds he had in his pocket. So it was yeah. like five grand. I, I can't remember. You know, he like he pulled it out of his pocket. It was like a roll of fucking oh, hundreds. Gosh. I don't know. I, I was never able to talk to him before he like. Something happened after he got back. I don't remember. Something happened to him. Yeah. He went to jail, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen. I we think didn't, he just murdered a couple of people. It's not a problem. We didn't have the benefit of the internet to tell us who the characters were when we got there. I remember there was that, who was that dude that was Aaron something? That ran... Um, Russo? Was, Aaron Russo, yeah. So, I mean, it was kind of like we came in and kind of the after yeah, because, of that. Because, so there uh, was some Russo was people left over. But there was no information about that. Now there's information yeah. about everything. We have the videos of the 2008 convention are still here. Uh, there are our, archives RIP, on PAA uh, Robert. Yes, but they yeah, go way like, back. What was it? Decourt, Decourt and Zdrowski were the Russo holdovers. Yeah. So I, okay. like, I love listening to Zdrowski. It's like, they're going to do this, and they're going to do this, and do this. And it's like, great. <laughs> like, I can't wait for them to try it again. <laughs> 
So he kind of yeah. knew what we were going to do? Is that what you're saying? No, yeah, he's you no know, he he told like what because Sue was the party leader. Guess who was chairman of the party when Russo was? Like who was get who was running the Spears. and running Russo's can, uh, convention? Beers. Bob Beers. No, that that was ours. Oh. But when Russo in like 98 or whatever? Yeah. Sue Sue, Sue, Sue was running the meeting. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. So he Loudon just gave him the, the entire playbook. So of course they're gonna do the same shit again. Like, so like I'm sitting in the locker room, like, okay, do that. So that's why like everything they did, like not all the little tricks didn't do anything all night. Because Jesse, we already you, knew what they were doing. Dude. You need to turn the lights off at a meeting, dude. You got to you got to bring back the hits. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Technically, that turn is the... one hell of a troll to turn off the lights before the meeting even started. Just this, this last week. Just turn up. <laughs> just turn off the le- lights and disappear out the back. Oh, that might happen, bro. <laughs> you guys tell me how bad they they tried to skewer me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave. All right, man. Have a good one, dude. No, I, that was that was my few, my that was my for, forecasting. Oh. What I'm oh, gonna oh, do? Oh, oh, you're gonna yeah, leave. Like, okay. we're, we're all yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, we're all as a friend. Uh, we're your friends. We're all under the illusion, like I don't. We have no idea why. Are you, is somebody holding a gun to your head to to make oh, you do this? Or oh, dude, because I don't know why I'm doing this. I do not know. But he's gonna be in jail tomorrow, isn't he? Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, last, was, Tuesday, last, Tuesday. Last, Tuesday. last Tuesday, last Tuesday, he was in jail. Yeah, wanna, yeah. Brian Shapiro Jeff watched the whole thing. Uh, this is how I saw it. We had there were that pictures on the internet. The the last meeting, there were people yelling at me. I even had an old lady saying I was lying through my teeth about fraud and stuff. It was it was fucked up, and like that did impact me. So I'm like, all right, I need to be better about who I choose to date. If this was a dating analogy, <laughs> if this was a dating analogy, it'd be like going to a date where the other person didn't even want me there. And I'm like, this is great. This is great. I don't actually have like quality of life being a county chairman. So if they don't even want me, perfect. But I had worked till I ended. I'm still in my term. So I had uh, somebody say, hey, let's do our review of the last year. We talked about doing it. Let's do it. So I call everybody together. And I have uh, 51 people show up. And it was like an invitation for them to just light me in fire. Because I literally was like, okay, cool. We had this previous meeting where they hate me. They're going to come in and tell me they hate me, right? And the 51 people just wanted to be heard about what we could do differently from the last election. And that's when it really hit me. Because I like left lighter afterward. I was like, oh my gosh, I really like... Uh, when people like what we did when we got off the couch in 2008, I really like when these people come out, they have these things they need to do, and I can help them achieve it. I love it. So at that point, I'm like, well, maybe this makes sense. And I'm, of course, you know, some I don't, I don't know, like there's nothing functional uh, about doing the job for my life and its benefit. I don't like being called chairman. I don't go, ooh, I get to be chairman. Like, <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. You get a but name like, tag and everything, Jesse. Yeah, dude, I won't wear a name tag because Michael <clears throat> spooked me. He said if you wear a name tag, they don't know who you are. So I don't wear exactly. name tags. <laughs> exactly. You got to be the important guy sitting in the back that everybody just walks to for some reason. Dude, then... I mean, technically the hate does make me strong. I mean, that's a lot of energy to just <laughs> throw in my way. I know I'm like <laughs> lifting cars out of the way. But anyway, uh, the other thing that happened was weeks later, and I'd spent a long time thinking about the, you know, Donald Trump running and what I'm supposed to think about this, and am I supposed to think about this? And I spent a long time thinking about it prior to this, prior to going. So I go to Mar-a-Lago, knowing where my position is in terms of his, you know, his. So support. you're saying I'm, you're biased already in the primary. Hundred percent. Okay. Yep. yep. I'm for Donald Trump. So, Do you see that? The, Do you see that? P P that P A A podcast. It's Pre endorsement. It's Pre-endorsement. official. He's gonna rig it. By the way, oh, if, it, if listen, if anybody was thinking of donating to the guild, donate to the county party. Jesse is is doing this out of kindness of his heart. It's very uh, late, and 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 there's a lot of people in the comments, so they're all saying that they already donate please. to the party. So Thanks. make sure you That's actually low. do, because so yeah, just, the problem just, is the problem with your, your master. Okay, let's get back into this rigging thing. The problem, no, no, the problem that you're gonna that. face here, Jesse, is that. We don't have the Secretary of State, so there's not a goddamn thing you can do to rig it. So, um, <laughs> well, no, I mean the the, the success is going to re- result from the turnouts, and uh, 
you know, I think that there's some interesting things that'll still happen on on uh, uh, on the law and everything about the primary and stuff because it's weird. It's like a primary that's not even binding. It's really unusual. So I don't even know if that's. Oh, like really so you, okay. So you're just gonna rig the delegates. <laughs> I love Which that you Carl can do. Butcher, like, Which you can do. Game. I can't rig anything. It's a turnout game. All right. No, oh, for the, the primary, uh, but if it's not binding, you could just have your people Richard, go you there and not be ago, I just finish answering it. I okay. go to Mar-a-Lago, and Trump actually said, "I endorse you for your reelection. We have unfinished business in in Clark County. I need you to win this for me." That's what it is. There and did he donate hundred thousand dollars to the party? No, he bought he me that get, sixteen he, foot dinghy in the in Lake Mead. <laughs> well, listen, so he, bri- least, he bribed you, but didn't listen, give you a donation with his endorsement. Je- Jesse, the county party should get as at least as amount of money as Stormy Daniels did. That's a fair assessment. And so look, are you worth more say than all st- kinds of things about rigging? And, and because Richard, you've you've really led down a primrose path, which I do appreciate. I need more of this drama. To be clear, I mean don't Donald you run Trump drama? is going to be impossible to beat in this state. He's going to be, the people who turn out for the conventions and everything are his people. Mm-hmm. We Wait. all already know that. Did like, you see how many, you didn't see how many people were waiting but, for but Ron it, DeSantis to speak? That's why, at that's Stoney's. why you need to get. I'm pretty sure I have a total problem. Because here I'm trying to help you rig it. I'm I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you have your in with Lombardo and Lombardo isn't a turncoat on you already, he can make it a caucus. He has to sign off to make it a primary or something. I can't remember how they worded the law. Um, I don't know anything about how they can change it back to the caucus through the governor. I, I don't know anything really about that. I'm pretty I, sure I, I'm pretty sure they made it where it, a waiver. Yeah, there's like something to save money. They they can not have a primary because obviously a primary costs more money. So there was something a lot of money. So you might want to read the NRS that they that they passed. Like, was it two sessions ago or one session ago for the primary? So no, it was this last session. This you is know, an interesting. Uh, sorry, because I, I want to interrupt because there's something the in the has to sign off on it. In in the comments, they're they're saying that, uh, and I guess it kind of ties into what I was saying about you guys being out of town. They're saying. That uh, the Crete people might be the DeSantis people, the Maricopa yeah. County and the Florida people, because Mar- they, Maricopa yeah. County. Listen, hey, I mean, you know how this stuff goes with the with the weird factions, but they undermine themselves. The Crete people who are who are saying that there was no fraud for the election, by the way, they said that when I was running before. So they may try to hide from. But, it here, again. but here's the thing: going like using this this gambit of the fraud. Okay, so you suppose the fraud. So then you get asked the question, what changed? Is he just going to get cheated again? And if so, why is he wasting his time? Yeah. So, but if you do run anyway, you, then you that, mean, that me... means you're saying that it, there is no fraud, that you can legitimately win. You can't so then pull you destroy your argument and ask many, many questions or make many accusations and not let me like address them one at a time. Like, no, because they're that. all they're all a sandwich. Just, it's, <laughs> they're just layers of meat to the whole sandwich. Well, you can't we, give it one well, slice. I, I wanted package. to at least answer the, the weird factionalism on the DeSantis thing. Here, here's what it like. There's a poll right now. Fifty four percent for Donald Trump. Twenty six percent for Ron DeSantis. Boom. And here's the difference. The Trump people are just scared about what happened in 2020. And they're hoping that DeSantis is anything like what they believe about Trump, just that somehow he'll magically not be too offensive or even attacked too much by the media. Fine, they can think that. But do you know what? Ron DeSantis is not Donald Trump. And the oh, people who are hoping that Donald he'll Trump. be, they're going to say, wait, DeSantis isn't Donald Trump. Donald Trump's Donald Trump. And those people go just right back to Donald Trump. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really. I, it's fine that there's a nice contribution to like the mind uh, See what I, uh, of the election, but it's yeah. not going to result in anything. But so you okay? Address the next part, like his gambit of going with this fraud, but then running again anyway when nothing's changed. Hey, dude, how am I supposed to address that? Those are unanswered mysteries, bro. Like, do you think I have closure for 2020? You think I feel okay about having the FBI take my phone and subpoena my records? And then I'm like, hey, boss, sign me up for more. Like, none of that actually sounds all that awful. I mean, but, like, how do you answer that? Like, why are you running if you believe it's just it's fraudulent and nothing's changed? Um, you know, I... Uh... I, I don't know how I had the how to explain I had a, my own personal confirmation without saying something that resembles like God told me to call myself Mister Fix It, but when I was praying about what to do, 
the thing that had the least resistance and the thing that was most appealing was this. And that's just what it is. So like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to like even know what the right thing to do is even when I pray. I just know that if it feels like it's something it's supposed to be and the, the path lines up for it, then I go do that. And by the way, the opposition is freaking crazy. If this is something that it doesn't really matter, why the hell is there this much, much opposition? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It was crazier last time because of the weird lawsuits. But this time, it's like weird random stuff. Stonies. I've got so, some weird so, old ladies saying that like she, there's a subpoenaed or there, there's a grand jury summoned and they're subpoenaing financial records. Like last September, she said that. Like we, we, we have financial records. <laughs> don't, you have, don't we have to have money for financial records? You have to have money for that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. but Trump is great because you have to you have to have friends around him all the time, so he remembers what side of the issue he's on. Like, so that creates like a camaraderie ship where if you You're ridiculous if you let the Look neocons hang out with like, him for a I week, he's all war. So you got to get Paul back in there to get him back on the liberty side. It's great because it, it it just keeps this keeps this fun just, excitement prefer, that you never know what he's going to do. If you prefer no Liberty Caucus in the White House and and and, uh, uh, and you'd rather have the way things used to be, be my guest. But I, mean, I think it's that great having Liberty Caucus in the White House because if we get a meeting with him right before he makes a decision, he'll go with us. Could be. Could be. I will say that uh, Don Jr. is uh, very much a Liberty guy, like wholeheartedly, not not made up. So he so. should why, he should run for president. That's a little different. I think I think we're doing a great job with Donald Trump, but you know you can come up with the criticisms, and I and I'll be hard pressed to say. I mean, like I, I like, like I want I'm helping you out because these are going to come up, so you need to be able to address them and fight them. I because I'm going to be right next to you helping you rig it. So, thank you, Richard. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love how he's like I'm helping you by starting new terrible rumors. <laughs> yeah, we put out hey, some fires. You, you know, Why not you know start new you, ones? Uh, Jesse, you know how if you get shot in the arm, how to take the pain off the arm? Yes, break the finger. Yes, break the, and break the finger, and that heals faster. It's like when David's like, oh, we have to break Jesse Law in order to help him heal. I remember that was 11 years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that. I do. I do. Which David was this? Which Dave? There's a lot of oh, Daves. Like, which Isabel. one? Oh, oh the original Dave. Up. The OG Dave. Yeah. The OG Dave. <clears throat> was this poli was this political thing. director Dave or like what was no it was, uh, yeah. Isabel, no it was podcaster Dave he was oh, uh, podcaster Dave yeah he was like no no we just kind of harass you all the time and then you'll you'll like because be because all drama is content <laughs> and all content is good that's how it works yeah because you get so, this drama going and then people want to watch it more because people don't want to watch like oh nothing's happening like they're all just getting along and kumbaya like no one watches that it's just the way well, the world we work I personally i'm really disappointed that we've not gotten any uh like real questions about like you know is there some i'm trying to look at the life feed to see if there's anything controversial i can answer to because like i'm a I'm jesse, in rare form willing to even talk about it what, jesse what what que what question would 2009 jesse law ask to 2023 jesse law that, that's a great one Okay, but are you sure you didn't sell out? <laughs> and if you did sell out, what was the amount? You went way too cheap. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I mean, you got you got you got a you got a, a president's endorsement, and he didn't give you any money from his ten packs that like ten thousand dollars they spent on a food tray. They could have just gave you, and no. that would have been the world to you. But nothing to them. No. They didn't even give you that. No, they gave you like, a hat. Like, so you sold out for a fucking hat, is what you're telling me. <laughs> Rich, I know you're yeah. just being silly, but I swear to God, it actually doesn't I'm help. I'm good at this, Jesse. No, it doesn't help, though. Like, what you're doing, you're raising fake bullshit, and now everyone's going to repeat it. So it doesn't help. I just want you to know. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Richard <clears throat> Richard had a steak dinner with Sue Loudon and said this has been a long time coming. Yes, oh, I did. It's true. He has I, no I did do that. that. I went. How many years was that? That was like in 2012. 20, that was 2013. 2013. No idea. It was five oh, years. Okay. It was five years after action. That's I how probably I heard about. I probably heard about I it a year later. <laughs> I see. I see a Rachel 
AP yeah. asking a question very directly. I know Rachel. Rachel, I believe that's Rachel Puina. I we have yes. so few so few viewers that if they have code names, I can still pick them out. <laughs> <laughs> so Don uh, will be those days. She was one, she was wondering about the the Dragon Ridge accusation where this lady she was yelling at me like this. I could smell her breath from like three four feet away. It was terrible. Yeah, and the breath was terrible too. Both mm. things were terrible, but. That I don't know what that is. They just thought that we were supposed to make money because they had one of their friends that was a donor uh, give a check for a thousand dollars to pay for volunteers who were comps. Right. So since that time, they're like the state chairman demanded a comp and all of this crazy stuff. The state chairman wasn't even present for it. Pat Casal demanded a comp. He paid. Right. <laughs> um, the, and, and then when I wasn't going to ask for a comp, and this is you know behind the scenes, so they're going to they, somebody might say I'm like. I was like, no, 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 I don't need to be comped. No, you need to be comped. You know, it was like, it was that. You right. need to be comped. So then it turned out I was the only person on the board that was comped. And the whole point was they're saying that because somebody had donated this and it had X amount of people, it should have been profitable. And so they're hiding money. That's it. Instead of even asking questions. I'm sure uh, anybody that, that comp bucks. that paid, anybody that paid for a comp can say, okay, I'm, my comp was for Jesse. Like right. It's well, not, not a problem. All I know is we took in eleven thousand nine or uh, ten thousand nine hundred and ninety yeah. or something like this, and the cost was twelve thousand. Shit. You know, th it was a terrible negotiation. This lady but, Margaret White, who I don't ever say my name because she's ridiculous. You, you, but, it's a person whose name should not be mentioned. Right. Yeah, I know, but she's a terrible person. Richard knows. Oh, uh, she's. A, you know, she, <laughs> She, she's, she's just totally. straight out the bat. She meets you for the first time, and she says the most wonderful things about you right to your face the first time ever meeting her. She's the greatest, nicest person ever. Yeah, yeah. Well, all I know is I fell for it. It was a bad hire, and I feel, I'm embarrassed. You were only it. told by we, everyone around you, but that's, that's <laughs> neither here nor there. That could be true also. <laughs> Nevertheless, what she did was she organized an event where they were charging $40 for a $40 dinner. Wait, everybody else around him was telling him she was a bad hire, but wasn't fucking helping him. Let's, not, let's not leave that part out. Because of her. Thank you, Chris. That's also true. That's also true. I had one lady helping me, and she was a bad hire. Anyway, uh, she did that without any permission. She obligated the group. She did the pricing with and, and announced it without any permission. She told all the candidates they were welcome. I'm not letting Barack Zilberberg come on the damn stage. Like, we got to be serious. Unless he's so, dressed as Frederick Douglass. So they, th we had 270, you know, seats sold or, or whatever it was. Like we were just short money, and it was terrible. It was a good event. It could have been as as, as, as profitable as a Lincoln dinner, and and it was a total sham. And she said, <clears throat> "Oh, we'll have more fundraising events." But she left a week before when it was so disorganized. And when I uh, asked uh, Pat Casal to be the vice chair pro tem, she's been going around saying, "Well, it was because he was appointed above her." Listen, he's been around for 10 years. He's held other officer positions. All right. Did she want to be the vice chair? She's got a podcast she and he's on no, AM radio. She was the chairman. Somebody, uh, and, and to Richard's point, she was behaving that way. And it is, like I said, Richard, it's embarrassing to me. So I'd ask you to not pick the scab with me on the call because I'll get angry. It, it is an embarrassment to me. And that she's doing this stuff now, I actually have her slandering us to, to somebody. And, and it's an actual defamation case. So it's not it's not good for her. For sure. <clears throat> I wanted to say um, that you mentioned a defamation or or something in uh, your interview on VIP, and some people were concerned uh, that you were talking about me, and I knew you were talking about Margaret and uh, Drew Hursty. So yeah, yeah I wasn't. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure he was talking about me. <laughs> no, no, no. Good old good old Rich. I'm not talking about you. Um, there's a uh, 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 you know the defamation thing will just come to light, and you guys will see it, and then we can have another show. Uh, but there was another question that was asked uh, that I uh, I was asked recently if I was dating Michael McDonald's daughter. And I'm what? like, well, I'm not aware he, that he, he has a daughter? daughter. Like, I've not met her yet. Right, right. Well, he doesn't. And I thought that that was a good one. So, uh, nope, that's not the deal. I've been to his house many a times and I never saw any pictures of kids. People, people wonder <laughs> what the deal is and they See, think dogs. that Michael like, controls me or something like that. And I just wanted to say, for the record, when you have a friendship with somebody, and that includes Carl, Chris, Richard, if they call you up and just say, hey, 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 here's an idea to help. Let's do this. You're like, oh, yeah, cool. That sounds fun. That's how it works. Michael doesn't actually dictate I do anything. He just mm – -hmm. it's not even his style. And so, uh, anyway, people get this weird conspiracy that we're too tied at the hip as a county party and a state party. 
I'm doing my job to make sure that we're in an alignment with the state party because the last group was going against them. Like that's yeah, what like you- that's why I always say that. Like people repeatedly say is like, yeah, they're supposed to cooperate. Like every every, 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 every county chair you're, you're is actually, on the, every county chair is on the actually, state board, so they're supposed to work together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he said. Actually, as members, you're supposed to fall in line. Yeah, <laughs> like you're you're all supposed to fall in line. And well, I mean, it, you know, like needs. at least no. look, I would invite any of these people. Why don't you guys just like run on on your better idea than mine? Why don't you try that? Because I thought about this a long time. I'm like, well, it gets divisive. I, ideas don't like win you an election, Jesse. It's they do with me. It's it's how how what what how can I call the other side witches? Lar- right. l- louder than they're calling me with well you know rich i <laughs> hope then that, that they don't that's take my win. advice i hope that they don't take my advice and i'll just mop the floor <laughs> and that's how, how that'll work but the truth is that's what the vision and the party is really the problem it's because we use these negative accusations to get each other riled up in order to win a, a, a party election why don't you just run on good ideas <clears throat> like the gentleman from across town you know i don't agree with here's the better solution like that's what they do like uh, in, in civilized society. So, anyway. We've ran a few party elections, and that's never been the case, ever. I know, and I and actually, this is what I committed to people last night. I because just, like, when you're I... whipping votes, and you're on the phone, you don't talk about ideas. You talk about, what's the other guy, why they're terrible. That's what you're Well, sure. About. <laughs> well, I mean, that's possible, but actually, here's the commitment I made, and I made it last night, and I'll keep making it to everybody. I commit to all of them. I'm just not going to do it, dude. I, if, if I want a party that's respectable, I'm going to be respectable, period, period. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to dig into the details. I'm not going to go up on stage and accuse people of things. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, we, we got people for that. They'll, they'll well, handle it. I'm, I'm letting you know, Rich, and you can be cynical all you want, all you want, but I'm going to get off the phone. But I'm just oh, letting you know. Well, we love you, Jesse, and we don't I know, know why you're, you're doing this. the whole time, and I don't, I, like, I, you know, I get tired of it. I, I really do. But my whole point is when I'm up on stage, I'm going to lead with dignity and respect and kindness. And if these other people want to be negative, you know, people want to choose that, then then so be it, you know? All right, guys. I love you. All right. Love you, too. Thank oh, you, Jesse. We love hey, you. Oh, Jesse. No, ma- no matter how much I break your balls, you know I love you. I know, and, but you know what? And like, any, anytime you like, cross, you need help, you I help you. shit to me? Like, when we're talking, like, say supportive shit. Like, it'd be really cool. All right, Carl, what you got? I love you, man. Love you too. You're you're right. you're, you're you're my chair, Jesse. You always will. Be. I appreciate that. All, All right, right man. we'll see you later. All right, my chairman, my chairman. <laughs>